We're here at the uh, Cornerstone Cafe in Fernwood in uh, Victoria, BC. Uh, I like this cafe very much. I live down the street. I come here all the time. So I'm very happy to be showing uh, uh, some of these paintings. Uh, this show is called Esa Tormenta Magnifica, which means uh, that magnificent storm. It's from a poem by uh, Hafiz. And uh, they're, they're visionary paintings. They're uh, paintings that have to do with mystical experiences and, uh, and basically visionary visions um, that I've had. Um, one of them that I'll talk about is, uh, is called uh, uh, Forgiveness Boom Blossoming Atomic Lila. It's this one up here. And it's, um, it's a painting that um, came out of my seeking to understand um, the duality in, in the universe uh, and, and in ourselves, in myself and other people and, and, and just in the world. Um, I guess one of uh, the things that I've always been struck by is how there's so much beauty and so much good in the world, things that just make your heart open and make you smile. And at the same time, there's so much darkness and destruction and evil. And how these two energies coexist and, and, uh, and, and I guess what, what do they mean, really? Um, how are we supposed to relate to them? And uh, several years ago, I was, I was meditating and uh, uh, the, the deeper I went into meditation, the, the more I started to see this image, which was kind of like a central stalk with all this burgeoning energy coming out. And it kept changing. Uh, so one moment it, it, it looked like a tree, this beautiful blossoming tree, and then it would suddenly change into this horrible flaming mushroom cloud, a nuclear explosion. And I just stayed with that image. And, and when I came out of the meditation, I, I was just, I was just uh, energized, and I felt like I have to paint this. I have to paint this. So I, I took this big canvas, and on each side of the, the canvas, I painted these images. And it took me about a week to do it, and it was very, very intense. And from there flowed these other images. I just felt like these spiral, these, um, these were central messages or central kind of energies from which other things had to spiral out. And what you see in this painting is on the side of the, the atom bomb, there's like a spiraling out of, of what we call negative energy, right? So all kinds of destructive images, dark images, death, um, the controlling and destruction of nature. Um, and they're kind of spiraling down very quickly. And on the other side, there's this um, beautiful ocean wave that is spiraling out into all kinds of life forms. There's a whale, there's all kinds of plants and, and uh, representing life, I guess. And if you take this panoramic view, what that suddenly looks like is this, the, the twin ovaries of a, a, a huge cosmic womb or uterus. And what, what came to me as I was painting this is this is kind of like, this is, this is what form emerges from, the dance of these two energies. Right? So uh, things die so that new things are born, things are destroyed so that new things are created, and as things are created, they're, they're, they're created to be taken apart. Um, and it, it, at some level, it's a cliche to say, well, you, you know, you need to know what, what bad is, to know what good is, etc. But, but there's a real fundamental truth to it, and it's, it, for me, it was painting this was part of uh, coming to a, a deeper understanding of that, of, of, um, of why, why bad things happen in the world and why, um, why I've done uh, things that I regret and why other people have done things in my life. And it, it, it's part of a story and it's part of an evolution. Um, and I don't ex pretend to explain it in this painting, it's just my, my, my experience of, of uh, creating around that. Um, this painting here, this other one is called, um, it has a long name, it's called uh, Get Loose and Breathe with All Things in the Ever-Flowering Kaleidoscopic Love Dance of the Tao, but I call it Get, Get Loose for short. And um, it's really about um, creativity and the creative uh, energy of, of the universe, essentially. In, in the center, um, there's a figure called the Yabyam, which is uh, the yoga, the yoga, the, uh, the Buddha and his consort in, in, in Congress, and it represents the union of compassion and understanding. 
uh, ultimate consciousness from which spirals out potential, amorphous form, and it, it, it kind of comes, there's a lot of spirals in this painting. So that spiral goes into this an other spiral, which is an ocean wave. There are a lot of waves in these paintings. Uh, and it creates what, an infinity symbol, all right? Life and energy spiraling back into itself. And out of this, this um, primal ocean comes up all this form, all this beauty, uh, this shaman figure, which is communing with this, this frog here. And the frog is, uh, to me, is a, a shamanic figure as well. He's, he's standing very still and calm in this pole which is um, uh, in this this very tumultuous ocean and that's that's just a, um, a, a spiritual ideal that I, I, I really value I guess the, the ability to stay calm and centered and true to yourself even though everything is going nuts around you um, yeah, I don't know what else I, I could say about it. I could get into the details, but I think uh, I won't. Uh, so the other paintings, they're all very different uh, in some ways, but they're also very uh, um, connected by, by a, 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 I guess, of a mystical energy, a sacred energy. Uh, they're all about experiences that I've um, that are very dear to me. So, uh, it's been very cool to be here and come down here and, and uh, watch people's reactions to them and talk with people about their experience of them. Uh, we came down here the other day and there was this woman who who just said, I've been looking at these paintings and I love them and they've really touched my heart. And that's I find that very rewarding. I find that um, that's what it's really all about. Um, yeah, That's all I will say for now. Thank you very much.